In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream to Instagram using OBS for free. So the first thing you need to go to atom.tv and there's actually one plugin that I need you to download. While you're there, actually there's a second plugin that I want you to download, 100% free. So the first one is gonna be the Atom Very Cool plugin. So you need to go ahead and just click download and it's gonna allow us to have a very cool canvas in OBS. And then the second one is gonna be the A2 Multi Stream. Now this one, you don't need to have it, but I'm gonna explain to you why you probably need to have it. That's gonna work together with the A2 Very cool plugin. So go ahead and click download. It's gonna show up in your download folder. Just click to it and follow the instructions. It's easy to install. Make sure your OBS is, is uh, shut down. And then once you have them installed, go ahead and open OBS. Once you open OBS, they're not gonna show up automatically. You need to go to dock. And then first you want to enable the A2 multi stream. It's gonna show up here. Just click to it. You can dock it anywhere you want. And then you also go to dock and you're gonna see very cool scenes, very cool sources, very cool, right? Very cool thing here. So you wanna make sure you click very cool here and then click very cool scenes and then click very cool sources so now we have two canvases and the most important one is actually this one which is our very cool canvas this is what we're going to be using to stream to instagram right now if i go to settings here all right uh before i do that actually i want to show you how i added this camera because i already had this plugin so i'm just going to go ahead and actually delete this scene right here so basically if you don't have a very cool camera you can use your horizontal camera that you already have in obs by going to under scenes and then this scene is already there so we can go under this scene and add uh, under this vertical source hit the plus sign and then we can add a scene that's already made that has a microphone camera everything right so we can go here and go to scene and then we can add any scene for our horizontal kind of you know canvas so i'm gonna go ahead and choose this scene that's called the me basically it's gonna bring in the camera and it's gonna bring in the microphone now one of the problems you're gonna have is it's not gonna fit so you're gonna have to kind of crop it and make it look like this and this is fine if you're okay with it now if you have an extra camera like what i have i have a webcam that's actually mounted in a vertical you can mount any camera in a vertical style okay you can go ahead and actually bring that in instead so i can go to this plus sign here and then bring in a video capture uh, device and hit new and then I can go ahead and choose my uh, webcam that's actually mounted in vertical style. And then boom. And as you can see, this is more professional. It looks better. I don't have to crop. I don't have to do anything. And it's going to show up here. Now, the next thing, of course, you want to make sure you hit the plus sign and you add the microphone and audio and all the good stuff. I'm not going to go through that. Just you want to make sure you set up your stream. Uh, you have your vertical scenes here and your vertical sources. If you want to add more uh, scenes you can go ahead and add another scene if you want to add more sources you can go ahead and add anything you really want okay this is gonna be your kind of vertical canvas now the next thing we're gonna set up our vertical stream so the first thing we're gonna go to this gear icon and basically when you click to it it's gonna transition to the atom multi stream plugin because they work both together when you have the a2 multi stream plugin they are kind of communicating together and this is useful if you want to stream to instagram and another platform either vertical or horizontal at the same time you're going to be able to do that no problem we're going to cover that in the next video of course so the first thing we need to do we're going to go to streaming and then we're going to set up our settings okay so as you can see it says warning as you're using the a2 multi stream you must control vertical streaming outputs from the a2 multi stream so this is the key now if we didn't have it installed we could actually set up everything here so i can go here here and just click ok and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to a2 multi stream plugin and i'm gonna go to the gear icon here and then i'm gonna go to vertical canvas here okay this is what we need and then i can remove whatever I had here and i'm gonna hit add a new output because instagram is not listed here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do other services or other service and then i'm gonna click to that and as you can see it's gonna ask me to name my output so output name we can call it ig server and stream key we need that from instagram so i'm gonna go to my instagram account you just want to make sure you log into your instagram account on desktop and then go here where it says create and then go to live video and then you want to put your title you can call it whatever you want audience you want to choose public 
and then hit next of course once you get here you're gonna get your stream url and your stream key so we're gonna copy the stream url and paste into the server here and then copy our stream key paste in here in obs and then hit create output and we should be good to go now the next thing we need to do we need to take care of the settings so we need to go under this plugin again hit the gear icon and then go to streaming and as you can see it's gonna show up some of the advanced settings or properties or whatever okay so if i go to streaming here and if you go down by the way you can use if you have some settings that you already set in obs you can click use obs main settings but if you want to set this up from scratch you want to make sure you actually uncheck this and then go to video encoder if you have access to nvidia nvec if you have a dedicated graphics card you can go to nvidia choose nvidia nvec h264 but if you don't you can use x264 no problem now next you want to make sure you choose constant bit rate and you want to make sure you actually put about 6000 kbps for the bit rate okay now you can go lower you can go anywhere between 4000 and 6000 kbps it should be really good keyframe interval you want to make sure you put two seconds or two s everything else guys you can copy my settings and just leave it the way it is okay you don't have to play with it that much and hit okay so now that we are ready you can go here under a2 multi stream and go under ig because it's gonna show up here and hit stream or you can even hit the start stream here under the vertical canvas so if i hit start streaming as you can see it's actually streaming here you can see and here because they're both talking together and if i go back on instagram you can see that i'm getting a signal the next thing you really need to do is you just need to hit this go live button and you're gonna be live to instagram no problem so now if you want to add another stream let's say you want to stream to facebook and to youtube at the same time with these two plugins you're actually gonna be able to do that and to be able to do it check out this video right here and i'll see you there guys